Manchester United have extended their unbeaten run in the Premier League away from home to 16 games. Here's the views of their manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Ole, it finished on as even, but do you feel you did enough to take all three points today? No, we didn't because we, uh, I don't think we played well enough. Uh, we didn't uh, impose ourselves on the game, especially the first half. I think we grew in the game, into the game, and towards the end you felt, yeah, it's here for us to win. And we create two massive chances and two uh, brilliant saves by the keeper. What didn't you like? What weren't you doing then? Ah, we can play better than this. We know that. We, uh, we can be more composed, we can uh, have the ball more. We had to defend really often uh, and I thought we gave the ball away too often. Maybe some, some moments we miss, you know, when Marcus makes his runs in behind. Maybe sometimes we sh don't pass it every time he runs because uh, and sometimes we missed it when he should have had it. So uh, a couple of things that we need to improve on. You changed things around. You had Paul Pogba on the right today. How do you feel that worked? I, I think Paul was absolutely uh, brilliant today. We knew that he had uh, had to do a job defensively, uh, block uh, and help us with uh, Robertson. And I, I thought it was excellent. And he should have got the goal his performance deserved. Do you feel this is a, a missed opportunity today? Yeah, I've got to be honest to say... Uh, I'm a bit disappointed at the moment, but still, you know, you're playing against a fantastic team and they, they had more of the possession, so, uh, but still, you want to go here and, uh, you know, the injuries they've had uh, lately, you think you go here and get a result. Uh, we didn't, but uh, a point might be okay if we win the next one. Should you have been braver, do you think? Well, uh, depends on uh, what you mean with braver in the, in the team selection or on the ball. I think we could have been better on the ball been uh, more uh, more quality and but uh, no we're uh, the, I'd probably start with the same team if that's what you're asking you said just before the game this was a test yeah if you're reviewing the test how would you say you acquitted yourselves I know we can play better but we're still coming away from here with a point which I think shows how far we've come uh, in a year or even six months in many ways is it a positive? Because it certainly didn't damage the belief today, did it? Yeah, of course it's a positive. You, you take a point, but uh, it's always you want to win every game. That's uh, so you can't really be uh, sat there or stand stood there smiling uh, too much. But um, we go again, and uh, we know that we we can do better than this, which is uh, the big positive. Fulham away next on Wednesday evening for Manchester United. He's disappointed. Is is it? Like we said at the start, you said it was a great opportunity. With the players missing, with no crowd, is it a missed opportunity for them to finally win out on the field today? Do you know what? It's, it's a strange one. I think, you, as you said, we're disappointed. But on the other hand, you'd be pleased as well. You have to remember, you, you come to the Premier League champions. The, the best team has been for the last, for certainly the last season, the year before they were unlucky not to win it. They haven't lost at Anfield for 67 games before today. So getting, getting a result there, getting a point there, is, is a really good, really good point. OK, they didn't have the centre-halves and you'd like to capitalise on that. As he said at times, he gave a ball away at times, they were a little bit sloppy at times. Um, but when you look back, they had the two best chances of the game. Um, limited Liverpool to hardly anything, really. You can think, I can't think of a clear-cut chance Liverpool had. And I wouldn't say that was United defending well. I think that was more Liverpool's inadequacy in creating chances and, and quality, lack of quality from them. Uh, I, I thought the first 25, 30 minutes, Liverpool at times played some really good stuff outside the box, couldn't create anything. And then for the last hour, I thought they were poor. I thought they, it wasn't a Liverpool team you expect. And, but you have to say the last three or four games, they've really struggled in front of goal. Mo Salah's snatching at things. Firmino's gone right off the boil. He's not creating like, like he used to. He, he doesn't look like he's going to score when he, when he does get a chance. So, I think Liverpool will definitely be the more disappointed of the two teams. And United have to be pleased with the, with the point out. Yeah. It's the question, the United that lost their last season and they've drawn here today, and you can see the progression. That team today, 12 months ago, might not have got a 0-0 draw. That's fair, fair to say, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think United have got an identity. When they play against the bigger teams, you pretty much know what they're going to do. Fred McTominay sitting in front of a back four, full-backs don't really... They really rely on... Um, you know, Fernandez and the pace up front, Pogba to do a bit of magic. But basically, when you look at the team, they've got a goalkeeper and then six players are in there to defend, and to defend only. And there's four that are, you know, go on, you go, go and try to, to nick us the game. Whereas I think other teams, Liverpool, for example, you get so many more players that are 
are willing to, to, to help out you at full backs bombing forward uh, etc maybe the midfield is, is more holds a structure of the, the team but I think they have got an identity now United you know that what they're going to do they're going to try to use their pace up front uh, I thought a draw was a fair result today I thought Liverpool did look quite good in the first 20-30 minutes but it's not hiding the fact Liverpool have been pretty poor for a few games now I mean didn't score against Southampton got beat didn't score against Newcastle didn't score against United um, there's been other games that they've looked pretty average in as well so I think Jurgen Klopp's got more of a headache at the moment than, than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. OK, yeah. on that subject, let's get the views of the Liverpool manager, Jurgen Klopp. Jurgen, what's your verdict on the game, the result and the way it panned out? A lot of good stuff, obviously, but we miss this a goal. Um, if you win this game 1-0, then I think it's completely fine because of the, the, the possession we had, the football we played, a lot of things. You cannot, you cannot deny Man United for 19 minutes. We never could. Uh, and it's probably not possible for anybody, um, especially when they're in a, in a good moment. But today, um, with all the things which were said before the game, they are flying and we are struggling. I think um, the boys did a really good, played a really good game tonight, my boys. And um, again, it's a good side, good organised side. But first half we played exceptionally well um, with the, the way we, we, we kept them under pressure. The, the counter press was great, the passing was good, positioning was good. We didn't score. So we we know that's the most important thing in football. So we don't <laughs> we don't we don't want to miss that, but we miss it um, in in really, but in really good moments, really good football moments. Second half of the game got a little bit more open, um, but they had two big chances. I have to say with Ali two makes two really big saves. But how said you cannot deny them um, everything. But we had our big one as well, and again, we had to be dominant here. That's how now how it shows up very often against United as well. And um, with their counter-attacking threat they have, <laughs> it's, a, it's a tricky one. So we would have better used the chance in the first half. That would have helped the result especially, but the performance was good. Why do you think it is you're struggling for goals at the moment? There's no, there's no easy explanation. It's not like we're here or there, but it's, it's just we, we always missed chances. We just had then another one which we used, and that's that's how it is. So there's not. You have to keep going in these situations in football. You always have to keep going. You have to um, try to ignore the talks around because um, that's how it is. It's uh, football. Everybody wants to see goals. If you don't score goals, everybody talks about. But we have to um, to stay focused on on on. Doing the right stuff you cannot force it shoot now or stuff like this it's more important that you re the way you react on on a missed chance in a, in a really good game you miss chances but you don't care next ball that try again and when you when it didn't when you didn't didn't score for a while um then you start you deal differently with it and that's that's a challenge but i i, I said i, I like the game it was. Um, I saw a lot of really good individual performances, a lot of really good, and the team performance was it was really good. And so that's how it is. No, no, not the result we wanted, but the result we got. And now we keep on going. You say you like things. What about your two centre halves? That's great. Were they as good as two orthodox centre halves? Yeah, and football was probably better. So it was. Uh, Look, the way we played in the first half, with the, it was really flexible, and you have two two midfielders in the last line, so that that helps in football moments. And so I'm really happy with how we did it. And um, yes, that was good. That was absolutely good. But in the end, we we had to be good to get a point. I think we were good enough to get all three, but we didn't because we didn't score. Is it now a matter of just keep believing yeah. the goals will come, and the results will come? It's not like we sit at home and, and, and um, it, it's football and we are not only since yesterday in football. So these moments, they happen. That you have moments when you cannot explain why you score from all angles, like against Crystal Palace, as so though everything ended up in the back of the net and the other moments. So you just have to do the right things. It's about creating. You have to create and create and create and we will score 100%. Everyone knows it. It's just a bit it's annoying in between these two moments, not scoring and start to score again, um, that you have to talk constantly about it. But that's pretty much the only difference. So the rest is completely normal. And um, so, how's that? We keep going. That was interesting from Jurgen Klopp. Since they scored seven against Palace, they've got one goal in four Premier League games. They've gone three Premier League games without scoring for the first time since 2005. Is there a bigger worry or is that just a little bump in the road? In I think it's a goal? little bump in the road, but... Against Southampton, they didn't really make any chances. Tonight, they didn't make really good chances. Thiago shot in the second half. They got into good positions, but the final ball let them down. So it is...